Okay, when you come across a rotational symmetry question in an exam, make sure you use tracing paper. Ask the exam invigilator for some tracing paper. It makes answering the question much, much more straightforward. So what we need to do is we need to complete this pattern so that if you turn the page four times, the pattern looks identical. And at the moment, only one quarter of the pattern has been completed. So what you do is you take your tracing paper and cover the grid. And onto the tracing paper, you mark the shape that you need to copy. And along with that, draw yourself a little arrow on one of the squares. Now what you need to do is rotate that copy around the grid and it tells you that you need to rotate it about O. That means what you want to do is to pin your tracing paper into the sheet so it spins around that point. So take your pen and hold your pen into there so that when you rotate it, it moves and stays about that point. And what you want to do is turn it until the arrow that's pointing up, first of all, points directly to the right, and then that will tell you where to color in in that corner. Then you turn it again until the arrow is pointing vertically downwards, copy it again, and then turn it the third time so that the arrow is pointing to the left and that will give you your three shapes. So here we go. Might be a bit tricky with the camera. So I'm holding the tracing paper there and I'm turning it until there. My arrow is pointing to the right. So the four squares I need to fill in, shade in are that one, that one, and those two. So that's that one, that one, and those two. Then I'm going to turn it again, so make sure I'm back on my center, and I'm going to turn it now until the arrow is pointing vertically downwards, and that's showing me which squares to fill in here. So it's that one, that one, that one, and that one. And finally, a third turn until the arrow is pointing to the left and that's going to give me those two that one and that one so those are the squares that I needed to shade in in order to give that a rotational symmetry of order 4 although we can't tell because I've just scribbled it it means that every time I turn it I end up with a pattern that looks exactly the same. Okay, so question two, same thing again. This time, order four, about O, the same, but the shape is different. And it's very tempting with this question, if you didn't read that, that you'd be thinking reflectional symmetry, and you'd want to shade in that L shape there, so you'd end up with a nice grid that looked like a rectangle around there. Okay, and I've seen lots of students do that and obviously get no marks. So we'll start, do the same thing again. This time, put my dots in that shape. Pen's dying. Pointing upwards. I need to turn this now about O again until that arrow is pointing to the right, so that's there. So I stop there, and I shade in the squares that I need to, which is that one, that one, that one, and that one. There you go, and now I'm off again until my arrow is pointing vertically downwards, there. So that's going to be that one, that one, that one and that one and one more spin will take me arrows pointing to the left that one that one and those two there ok 
Okay, so again, it's really important that you read the question and you pick up. This is rotational symmetry, not reflectional symmetry. I don't want my shape to look like that, which would be what would first come to your mind. Okay. Here we go again then, two more of these. Um, I'll change my tracing paper so that it doesn't get too cluttered. Um, the scent, so this is um, a cross, crossword grid. The completed grid contains 16 shaded squares, rotational symmetry of order four. So I need to have the center, just like with my others, in the middle of this grid, which is gonna be there. So it's that square, that square, that square, and that square. Here's my pointy arrow up. So I want to rotate it until my arrow points to the right and then lift your tracing paper. That one, that one, the end one there and that one there. Okay, so that's that quadrant filled in. Rotate it until your arrow is pointing downwards. Stop there. So it's that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. Put your grid back on. And now I'm gonna rotate it until the arrow is pointing to the left stop there that one that one that one and that one that one's done all of these you see are rotation of order four you could get them of order three or order six or order two but uh, they tend to be of order four I haven't found any on an exam paper that aren't order four Right, so here we go again. I want that square and there when it's pointing vertically up. Center about O, spin it until the arrow is pointing to the right. Shade in the squares. And again, Use a pencil in case you go wrong and you need to rub it out. Now my arrow is pointing down. And finally, I need my arrow to point to the left. check that one see that that's okay so there's that one of order four and one more of these to do another bit of tracing paper right so rotational symmetry about O order four but we're starting in this quadrant so I got those six squares there draw my up arrow so I need to rotate that until it's pointing to the right which is there so that takes those six there so that's that now I want to rotate it until the arrow is pointing downwards which is there, so you can see there the six squares we need to fill in. At those six, and then rotate it one more time until the arrow is pointing to the left. And again, see which six squares we need to shade in. And that's it. So, so long as you remember to ask for your tracing paper, 
mark on an arrow, it's difficult to go wrong with rotational symmetry. And they're fairly easy, considered to be fairly easy questions. They're going to be almost certainly on a paper one, on a non-calculated paper, and certainly in probably the first half of the paper. So you want to get a C, you got to get those right.